Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a quick update of what I'm working on these days. Uh, so, I'm working on cuisine. Now, I made this map initially for the 72 hour contest. The last one, whatever that one was, uh, January 2016, I guess. Late January 2016. And so, cuisine initially was like twice as big as it is now. Um, as And it was player destruction, but there was a problem with it where it was too long of a walk to have players from one team keep up a push on the enemy zone so you'd push all the way over to like over to here right and you'd push all the way over to here but then maybe your attack force kind of dies and then it completely dies like you feel kind of like you held ground for a little bit there but then it completely fell back now the thing was is that that map was a lot bigger uh, there was a lot more space base um there used to be a whole middle section in between these two roof pieces here uh so now i've completely removed that and i've actually like it doesn't it doesn't look like if there was room between these two middle sections that there you know that would add a lot of space to the map but it seriously it added like i don't know i don't remember the exact number i should have opened it on my left monitor but it it was like a third larger than it is now uh, so now it's a lot smaller. It's a lot easier to maintain a push on the enemy zone. This is an A1 test, by the way. Uh, so I played this yesterday, and we only played it for like 10 minutes because uh, we were. it was just an experiment, and I found quickly that the experiment failed. Like, I mean, it failed in a good way, you know. It was like I tested to see if this kind of game mode would work, and it turned out it was not fun. So the idea here, here, let's see if I can go on to a guy who has the ball here, right? So there's the ball. This is past time, so there's a ball. Uh, wow, it changes hands pretty quickly. Anyway, here it is. I think this guy has the ball. No, he doesn't. <laughs> it's just a soldier. Wait, nope, 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 nope. I have no idea. Anyway, the idea here oh that's me I think yeah so the idea here is that I've made it so whoever picks up the pastime ball gets really slow and so that way you have to like you're forced to kind of keep passing it along like that's something that I noticed in the original pastime maps was that no one really passed and now in order to just shoot to kind of move around you're gonna have to keep moving with your team and just keep passing but I noticed right away that no one really seemed to care. Like, there was always so many other enemies to deal with. And there's just so many other, like, things that you wanted to do that you didn't want to care about your pastime leader. I mean, that's kind of the same in, like, Player Destruction Watergate, where, like, you have team leaders in Watergate, but no one really cares about the team leaders. You just kind of sometimes are around him. I mean, this is the first test, I guess, so, like, like here, like, we're kind of pushing as a team. Anyway, we found it was actually kind of funny, because, like, the uh, side effect being slowed by the, the ball was such a deterrent to picking up the ball that it was actually kind of funny, because, like, there's a point, I don't know if we'll get to see it, but you would you'd take the ball and if you were fighting an enemy guy like an enemy guy was coming at you you'd toss him the ball he'd pick up the ball get slowed and then you could fire at him like it was like you'd pick it up just to throw at enemies as like a debuff and then kill them when they were slowed because and, and they couldn't fire for like a second or so after you pick up the ball you, you can't like toss it away instantly right um so i think in a2 I, I, and I've made A2 already, actually. I'll show A2 in just a second. Um, but I've already made it so that it doesn't slow you anymore. I'll just do a regular test on pastime to see if it's actually at all fun on this map. And I've also, you know what, I'll go to it right now. Pass A2. Um, I've also made it so that the respawn times are like double what they were in A1. Just because it was... Here, let me just wait for it to load. Yeah. And that's weird, too. Um, there's no, like, in past time, it seems the developers made it so that you can't choose a team. It just always automatically puts you on a team. It's almost like arena mode, you know? How it just, like, forces you to have team balance. 
I don't know if that was really necessary for pastime developers, but maybe they found it was, I don't know, in testing. Because that's what I noticed too, was when I first started doing kind of research for this map, I'm going to minimize OBS over there. When I first started doing kind of research for this map, I looked at pastime initially and I said, okay, well, what do I actually like about pastime? And I, I played some rounds on it, like on Pinewood and Warehouse on just the Valve servers. I, I haven't really played with really skilled opponents. I know that's kind of like a big like poke in the side for the Valve players or the Valve server players, but I played with the Valve server players and they were all scouts. They didn't really know what they were doing. And there wasn't any kind of team coordination going on, which I, I would imagine something like this would kind of need. And so I didn't really have a great experience and I was really struggling to find anything I really actually liked about pastime. My point here was that I initially wondered why the maps of pastime were so long, so horizontal. They kind of like necessitated kind of moving over a distance, you know, with like scouts and jump pads and like speed boosts and things. And why didn't they just make a map that was small like this? And then I realized that it could be, I don't know if it's actually why, but it could be that it's harder to find the ball when it could be up and down rather than just left and right, you know. Um, in that small A1 test that I showed on the demo, no one was really going after the team leader, maybe just because it's kind of hard to see the outlines, especially when it like, you know, it's on top of white dev surface here. But it could be that it's just more difficult to find going up and down rather than you know, just left and right. It could also be, well, actually, I don't know. I, that's really my best guess. I'm going to end the video soon, but I just wanted to show that I have added this grate here in A2, uh, right above the um, spawn point for the ball, just so that you can kind of see it a little bit better. Because a couple people, I don't know if you noticed at the start of the A1 test, they wandered around and they didn't see it at all. But now I, I guess it just, yeah, see, so you'll go, oh, okay, there it is, and then there it is. Um, I've also added coloring down to the bottom. Actually, that might have been an A1. I don't quite remember if it was. I made A2 really quickly. So all A2 fixes is spawn times, and it gets rid of the slow effect, and then it added that grate there. So what I hope to see in an A2 test, and I'll give you guys an update of A2, and then what changes I'll be making to, in, into A3. Um, what I hope to see in A2 is just stronger gameplay to similar what you'd expect to see in pastime because at the moment in, in the A1 test it was just a clusterfuck. It was guys everywhere and the slow effect was just a deterrent and it was kind of funny that you'd like throw it at an enemy because it was a debuff. Um, some people suggested making the effect of picking up the ball positive like it gives you more health or something and that could be look good to look into afterwards and I was thinking about adding it for A2 but I really do want to get like a base case test scenario, you know, of what regular pastime gameplay is like on Cuisine. Uh, so this is like the retrofitted Cuisine, and I'll probably be taking it uh, like to full development. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to be detailing it as yet, because like the geometry is like pretty random. And I mean, it kind of has like a symbolic building, you know, it, like it kind of looks like a resemblance of a building, you know what I mean? Um, and I could try to find something cool, but you know, it's mostly just focused on gameplay at the moment uh, So yeah, we'll see where that goes and that's a two So guys, okay, I'll update you guys later, but that's it. Thanks for watching